And I'm quickly just gonna take the camera from my score and timekeeper. What's up, everybody? Good to see you all joining me here. Midweek Wednesday episode. I hope you all are excited. Decided to put a little bit of a talent show myself today to have a little more fun. Let me just quickly get my uh, station all set up. As you can see, my hair is a little off. Am I mirrored? Oh, I'm already mirrored. Perfect. <laughs> all right, guys. So. We have a very very exciting episode as always planned for you through the lockdown. Uh, one thing that I want to remind you all one more time, it's really not about the score anymore. Actually, I'm not mirrored, no? Oh, I am. One thing I want to remind you is that it's really not about the score anymore because as you can see, Bopanas have messed it all up. The Bopanas have scored 970 points. Which uh, makes them the leaders. Adil saying, "G, you got to join our dance as well." All right, man. I'm happy to join you. But before, I don't know who us is. I'm still not sure who exactly Mr. Acal is having on as a partner. All right. So I'm gonna quickly send him a request, and let's figure out who the rap genius of Indian tennis is going to be playing game night with. Sending him a quick request. A little bit of water. Ah. Oh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Who's with you over there? Can uh, and the audience is pretty curious. What's going on there? The moment of truth. Are you guys ready? Plot uh, hold on. I don't think I'm ready yet. I don't think I'm ready yet. It's two. Now I'm ready. Let's do it. Do we have some fancy uh, introduction? Let's hear it. Let's hear <laughs> it. Come on in, mom. <laughs> this is all. <laughs> Is that Doc SM? That 
Let's go get some. And it can see you. I heard, I heard. It's the perfect time for game night with G for everyone. <laughs> yes, so Adil's mystery person couldn't get here, so you got us instead. <laughs> I, I think we all lucked out on game night with G because I'm really happy to see the Kalyanpur family, family <laughs> edition of game night with G. Everyone, everyone, ready for this? Making history on game night with G. Oh, that rhymes. If you go on the rap. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, that was an unbelievable song. Did you just compose that? I did, yeah, last night. Dedicated to you. It's called It's Game Night. <laughs> I love that. I love that. You already, uh, so let's ask the audience is that uh, qualify as a talent to write a rap song overnight? I think the team already deserves some bonus points for that. Could be, yeah. I think that's 960 points right there. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Nine, we'll make it like 950 points. You just have to get 30. Okay. You just gotta give me 30 okay. points. And then we're set. I think we have the dream team. See, we have. Brains at the back, energy on this side, and overconfidence. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> hey man, you can't go anywhere in life without confidence for sure. <laughs> for sure. Uh, guys, everyone just joining us, we have Akal with us, one of the most up and coming Indian tennis players on tour. So shout out to you, bro. Great job on the tennis and on the rapping. We all love you over here on game night. Thank you. And, uh, also, quickly want to make this a little more interesting than what it already is. I have a little surprise for you. Okay. Okay. I have a, a new partnership aligned with Game Night with G, with My Sugar Monkeys. It's one of the best dessert shops in Chennai. Okay, one of the best dessert shops in Chennai. My Sugar Monkeys, everyone. If you want to go out there and indulge a little bit, but also if you want super healthy desserts, they have options for everyone. So now, keeping that in mind. I have a little challenge for you guys. I've been told by the owner of My Sugar Monkeys, Cindy, that if you guys join the 800 Club tonight, if you join the 800 Club, you guys can get any dessert that you want sent to Bangalore whenever you want from My Sugar Monkeys. Whatever. And I know the Nutella cake is bomb. I know they have some unbelievable options, okay? So 800 Club is the goal for the Kalyanpur family. Let's do it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so big shout out to Cindy and My Sugar Monkeys again for that. And audience, I don't want to leave you guys behind because I know that it's not just about the contestants, it's also about you guys who are playing just as hard. So I've also been told that if the audience, if the, if the Kalyanpur family does not join the 800 club, I'm going to read out a question at the end of the show, okay? At the end of the show, I read out a question and whoever types the answer to this baking related question first gets this delivery. So it passes over to the audience. So everyone's involved and everyone wants desserts. All right. Who can say no to chocolate? All right. So that being said, I'm getting an incoming video call. Yeah. Uh, sorry, are you, are you with me? I had a video call for a second. Where with you? Where with you? God, I need a card again. That's Aisha. Uh, okay. Okay. I think you guys are with me for for all of you all with uh, Adil, can you hear me now? I'm a little yes, bit... Uh, okay, okay, great. All right. So the way the game works, as you all know, it's pretty simple. Uh, the first game we play is the feud. And what we're going to have is actually all three members join. That's right. I said all three members of the Kalyanpur family can play the game. We have designed the game a little different to make sure that everyone's included because it's a family edition, okay? Since it's a family edition, this is how it's going to work, guys. First game, no real changes. No changes. If you guys have been following the show, I have three questions in my hand. You guys have one minute on the clock. Before we begin, scorekeeper, timekeeper, please come and wish uh, the Kalyanpur family good luck. Hi, Auntie. Hi, Uncle. Hi, Good luck, guys. Thank you. <laughs> okay, so they are all set and they're all ready to uh, watch the uh, clock right now. So you have one minute on the clock, okay? And reel out as many answers as you can. If we have any internet issues, I'm obviously not the most strict judge here. We'll be lenient. But good luck to you guys. Uh, shoot for 970, but if you don't, Shoot for at least 800. 
Oh, we're shooting for 970. <laughs> okay. Here we go. All right. So audience, are you guys here and all set for the Kalyanpur family team on a mission? Your first question on game night with G. Why might a person use the stairs instead of an elevator? Lose Why weight. Exercise. Lose weight. Exercise. No, yeah, I got that. No, no electricity. No electricity? Yeah, that works. Yeah. Not that many floors high. Uh, not that many floors high. Yeah, it's around left. What else? What else? Keep going. I got your electricity as the fifth one and the number one answer. You got that. Give me two, three, and four. Keep going. Claustrophobia? Yeah. Yes, yes, I got that. Claustrophobia, fear of small places. Yes. Somebody with uh, corona is in the elevator? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. That, that works. That works. But uh, uh, not Al allergies to a dog that might be in the elevator? Fire, injury, yeah. fire, dog, fire. <laughs> not working, maintenance <laughs> issue. He said not working. Not working. Yeah, no, he said the same time. Fire. I said fire. Yeah, yeah, he did. Yes, stop guys. The timer, stop, the timer. Timer. stop it. Stop it. Stop it. One hundred. Woo! Let's do it, guys. Come on. Wow. I feel like it's a one-man show. <laughs> <laughs> so, guys, Kalyanpur. A Cal taking over for the team there. I see that. Solid start, bro. We're stepping up now. Come on. <laughs> okay, so what I had, as you can see, was exercise, was what you said. Exercise is number one. You said fire, fear of small places, claustrophobia. You said uh, not that many stairs, not that many stairs, which is your saving time. It's not too much to go, so that works there. Not too many stairs. And no electricity equals elevator is not broken. I mean, sorry, elevator is broken. So they all work today. You said everything I needed. And that's 100 out of 100 to start. Well done. Wow. I don't even know if you guys used the comment section. Did you use the comment section? You guys were fire again, which I don't understand why we didn't think of that. But wow. thanks, guys, for the this is a, a overachieving family, I can see. <laughs> OK, question number two, team on a mission. 100 out of 100, better yeah. than the Bopanas with the start. Yeah. Better than the Bopana so far. All right, on a roll. Question two. Name something you'd find in a teenager's floor in the room of your, in the room. What? Uh, dirty clothes. Name something you'd find on a teenager's room floor. Dirty on clothes. A teenager's room floor. Shoes, alcohol, not me. Alcoholics. <laughs> <laughs> uh, teenagers. <laughs> Keep it. Uh, shoes, okay, you got shoes, keep it going. iPods. iPod, yeah. Dirty socks. Headphones. Socks, headphones. Uh, need more specific, a little more specific. Keep going. Uh, socks, underwear, boxes. Okay. Clothes, yeah, that works as part of clothes. Got number one, clothes, knocked out. number two, knocked out. Trash, garbage, ban uh, banana peels, toys. Homework keep going, keep going. Home homework assignments, papers. Okay, yeah, books. you got the fifth answer. I'm just for three and four. Chargers. Um, magazines, oh god. Magazines that yeah, works on the books, yes, you got that. Just one more answer. One music, more answer. Series. music, I series. might want to look at Amisha Jalota stepping into the back. Food, snacks. Oh! 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 Amisha Jalota for the win. You should give her that. Okay, I actually need that now to show them the answers. <laughs> Sorry, Bob. Amisha coming in big. Okay, Amisha, enough, enough. They got 100. You don't have to keep typing. <laughs> Clothes was number one. Shoes, books, I heard magazines. Food, Amisha coming up big in the comments. And you said toys and toys slash games. It's all the same thing. So, there you have it. All right. 200. 200. 200. Woo! Amisha. <laughs> wow. <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> <laughs> Pura says, listen to Amisha. He's been doing that for the last 15 years. <laughs> good one. All right. Solid start. Solid start team on a mission. Best start of the, best start of best the game start night of the so game far? Night, yes. Best start of the game night so far. 200 out of 200. Ooh. Wow. All right. No pressure. No pressure. Like, like Rohan said, let's not even play for points. Let's just play for Yeah, the what was that? You just said we're going to play for fun and then it destroys the game. Yeah, it destroys the game with the team on a mission hot on his heels though. <laughs> Final question on the feud for you guys. Final question on the feud. <laughs> Misha, thanks, Babu. Okay. 
name something you can get can get in your eyes and sting or burn name than something that can get in your eyes eyelash. and sting eyelash okay but you're going eyelash lemon onion 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 fumes i got that at number 3 yes fusion sand grain of sand yeah. dust yes you gave me dust okay that's number 4 i'm looking at number 1 and 2 still sweat sweat soap Sweat is number five. Sweat is number five. Soap is my number one answer. Well done. I'm only looking at the second. Chili powder. Chili powder. Boom. Chili powder from the comments, and that's done, ladies and gentlemen. That's it. Jesus. Name something that you can get in your eyes uh, and cause a burn. I may have worded that wrong, but soap, chilies, onion fume, dust, and salt. A slash sweat. Everything works. Wow. Opana, are you feeling a little bit of a sweat, Rowan? A little bit of a sweat, I think, from the comments. <laughs> Game on. Game is definitely on. Pepper spray. <laughs> Amisha, it's okay. Three hundred has been made. No problem. <laughs> Three hundred club for sure, at least. <laughs> wow, love it, guys. Love it. So, uh. Just to let you guys know, I already knew uh, that we're gonna have these three beautiful people join us. Adil, I have ten questions, and I'm I've decided to give you four. Okay, you get four, and let me know. Uh, is that what you want to do? Yeah, you do you want to go? I'm suggesting four-three-three formation. It worked for Liverpool. It might work for you guys also. What do you think? <laughs> yeah, let's do it. Yeah, four-three. Okay. Feel free to help each other. Obviously, you have forty-five seconds on the clock. Okay. And. Uh, Uh, let me know who's going to start so that i can pick my questions accordingly who's going to begin who's stepping up to the plate you step okay you step. okay I, i'm starting we can we can we can big off to start all right we can 300 300 rohan says loving it i like this family kalyanpur team on a mission bro team on a mission do it okay 45 seconds on the clock as soon as i read out the first question all right all right Name something in the house which is very difficult to move. A bed. Okay. Name a style of music you'd be surprised teenagers listen to. A genre of music. Country. Name something that spins around. A top. Top. Beyblade. Beyblade top. Name something people arrive late for. What do people arrive late for? Meetings. Meetings. All right. Let's switch over to the next player. Name something. Who, uh, sorry, I'll pause the time. The timer's been paused over there. Perfect. My timekeeper has paused it. Perfect. So you've got four. Who's stepping up to the plate next? There were good answers there. Doc S M. No. Okay. Doc S M. We'll continue. Or oh, oh, what time were we at? That's okay. That's fine. We just keep going now. We we'll have thirty seconds for Doc S M. I guess it's fine. Doc S M. Name something that frightens small children the most. Ghosts. Other than dog, name an animal likely to perform tricks. Other than a dog. Monkey. Name Elephant. something people can inherit genetically from their parents. Uh, good looks. <laughs> <laughs> okay, can you be a little more specific, Paul? What part of their appearance? Eye color, height. Height. You said eye color. You said eye color. I heard that. Okay. Okay. I'll keep that in mind. She said I got up first. Uh second question was we'll get to that. Okay, let's continue with the timer. Big Papa Kalyanpur final three yeah. questions are you ready to go? Thumbs up? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Name something people arrive Oh, I hold on. I finished this. Right? Finish this I finished this. Ah, confusion. Confusion. <laughs> I need the last three. <laughs> okay, timer starts now. Name something uh, that you drink to feel warmer. Hot tea. Name a place you often find an elevator. Where do you find an elevator? In a high high rise building. Okay. Uh, a little more specific. Um, on the ground floor of a high rise building. Skyscraper. Uh, what kind of building? What kind of high rise building? Multi story building. Uh, what, what, what type of commercial building? I, I need what type of commercial building? Office building, like an office, office building. Office building, perfect. Office okay. building. Name office. a city in India known for its nightlife. A city in India known for its nightlife. Mumbai. What? Mumbai. 
Mumbai. Mumbai. Boom. Uh, which one were you looking for? No, let's just go one by one. Really, let me. Okay, one. I know you guys did really well. If you want, while the suspense is done, you guys did really solid. <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna read out everything. Uh, Bopana and Amisha and everyone's with us so far. Uh, the first question that I had, uh, it's not in order. But uh, name something that spins around. You said the top, right? Yeah. Yeah. Top was number one Ooh. answer. Top, earth, a wheel, windmill, and fan were the other answers. Wow, I was so close to saying washing machine. Thank God I didn't say that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're lucky you didn't say that. Uh, something that frightens small children the most. No, I'll say anything. It's fine. Uh, that would be ghosts or monsters was what you said. That dark was number one, so they lost just ten points over there. But in yeah. the dark, they spread up the ghosts, so it's kind of. <laughs> we should get thirty-five. Yeah, uh, we can review later. <laughs> Other than a dog, name an animal likely to perform tricks. You gave me a monkey. Monkey was number one. Elephant was two. Dolphins and seals were number three. Birds and lions and tiger. Okay, so they dropped uh, not only ten points. So far. Uh, and then we had uh, a drop of points where we said, "Name a style of music you'd be surprised teenagers listen to." No, they said country. We have classical was the number one answer. Jazz was there. Opera, blues, and folk music. This was a little bit of a slider white type question. A little tough. I was looking for classical. We didn't get that, mm. but that's still fine. You still have a chance, I'm sure. Name something. Uh, this is my thirty-five. Uh, name a city in India which is known for its nightlife. Uncle, you said Bombay. Uh -huh. Mumbai was number one. Ooh. Wow! <laughs> Bangalore made the cut. Bangalore okay. made the cut. Bangalore did make the cut, but unfortunately, Pondicherry didn't. <laughs> <laughs> That's tough. Yeah, I guess tough. you know what it means. They just so, have to come to kick thoughts. <laughs> That's what yeah. the party is. <laughs> Name something you drink to feel warmer. Name something you drink to feel warmer. Number one answer was coffee, hot chocolate. Number three answer was tea. Yeah. So you got fifteen points on tea. I heard hot tea. All right, drop a little bit there. Uh, office buildings, right, Uncle? Office buildings, what we finally landed on. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Hotels was number one. Mall was <laughs> number two. Hospitals was number three. Office buildings was. A Four and apartment was five. Apartment Hang on, five. I don't know what hotels you are staying in, but in Oyo's, I can guarantee you, there's sometimes there's no <laughs> elevators. Oh no! Once you go to party in Mumbai, you will stay in a lot right. of high high hotels. Don't worry. <laughs> Once you play the Grand Slams. Yeah. No, no. Just go to Mumbai. Pura will take care of the stay there. Uh, name something people arrive late for. They said office meetings, right? I have already written this where I made a mistake earlier and put parties at number one, but I had already put this. It's actually our number one answer because the most people in my survey group said office meetings, so <laughs> office meetings was number one. Well done. All right. Uh, name something in the house which is very difficult to move. Okay, difficult to move. Amisha with a fair point. I think we'll review that country and folk for five points. We'll see. I I actually did research that for a while Amisha and I did research that for a long time. Uh name something in a house which is very difficult to move. Adil what did you say? I said a, a bed but if cupboard is number one num, the mo, number one answer then I want to change. <laughs> My god thank you sir. What do you want what do you want cupboard or bed? Actually I can't even do that. I just I know it's bed because said. that's what I said first. Either answer. way the number one answer was refrigerator. Okay. Whoa. Refrigerator <laughs> Dresser, wardrobe, uh, cupboard was all together at three. Bed is what I heard. Bed was fifteen, and washing machine went down to ten. So washing machine did make the episode, and television was at number five. Bad. Now the last question. This was a really good one, because uh, Doc S M stepped up to the plate. Ooh. When you said uh, name something people can inherit genetically from their parents. Uh, you said appearance and good looks. I had, or I heard, uh, I had appearance in there, but I needed something more specific. Uh, and you gave me eye color. You said the word eye color. 
Eye color was number one answer. We had eye color, health problems, uh, facial features, just facial features, any facial feature. If you said you could probably inherit height, and then you could inherit baldness or a type of hair color, anything like that. Doctors, would you agree with my summation here? Are you happy with my <laughs> number one answer? She's gonna... Number one, so you agree. So you agree. Okay, so how did they do? You guys made a 270 points, and their total would be 570 as of now. That is 700. So with that uh, being said, we're going back to a traditional way of doing game night, which is uh, the most fun section. Uh, I spoke to Adil, and uh, who is going to be doing the who's more likely to, bro? Uh, uh, do you want everyone to be a part of it? It's totally up to you. Apparently, uh, my mom and I feel that we okay. have good chemistry, so we're gonna... I don't know how good oh. the chemistry is, but we're gonna take this one. Okay, but I know that uncle will be back for later in the episode, yes. so he's not done yet. I know that. Okay. Class. So 570 out of 700. And uh, keeping that in mind, we move into who's more likely. I, for those of you who have never watched Game Night with G, it's very basic. The contestants keep their hand together. Uh, make my life easy. Auntie, just keep it a little bit higher and point towards Adil if you think it's him. Little, yeah, perfect. Um, <laughs> no, no, just your hands have to come higher. Yeah, your hands are, yeah. And then you either point to your partner or you point to yourself based on what you think. And I have uh, three pairs of eyes checking, so it's not only me. So it's all solid. All right. Your first question for who's more likely to for a team on a mission? Who is more likely to order two servings of their favorite dessert? Open your eyes. <laughs> <laughs> Me. <laughs> okay, Auntie, a lot of pondering. Do you want to tell us what was going through your mind? He's never going to admit this on an Instagram live. That's why I knew it was going to be me. I'm okay. reading your mind. <laughs> yeah, Auntie, you took a while there. You took a while there. Was that uh, your Google? Uh, Auntie was ready in like one second. <laughs> okay. Okay, so we've knocked out the first. Uh, the first one. Let's move on to question two for team on a mission. Uh, all right. Who is more likely to listen to classical music? <laughs> Open your eyes. <laughs> no. That one is. I this, this I was curious. I was actually curious because Ardil is a rapper and I thought he listens to all kinds of music. So I had to put some music questions. But your face said it. Your face said that you're not into classical. Gen Z. Gen Z, exactly. Gen Z. I hope Gen Z understood the song that played in my intro. You think they would know what song it was? <laughs> classic is class. <laughs> All right. Close your eyes and let's move on to question three. Who is more likely to be more upset after a bad tennis match? <laughs> Auntie, you're on the border with time violation. Why did I take so long? I'm the only one who plays tennis. I, it's a simple answer. That was not an easy question for Auntie, I know that. <laughs> When did you play a tennis match for you to be mad? <laughs> Interesting. You might be the ones uh, playing with the racket, but our whole family is actually playing tennis behind the fence. Don't worry. That's how it works. <laughs> three out of three? Yeah. Three out of three. Okay. Three out of three uh, team on a mission. Close your eyes. Who is more likely to want to live in a big city? Ooh, open your eyes, open your eyes. It worked. It worked. Yeah. <laughs> He's living in Piney and Mallorca. So <laughs> I'm in Bangalore. I'm more about the food. <laughs> okay. 
okay so yeah that's for sure that's for sure aunty lovely earrings this is for you ji <laughs> wow yeah i can see that i i just saw it flicker through the comment section but it's class it's class make you some drink i love it yes okay let's see here let's close your eyes for question number 5 who is more likely to be good at mathematics <laughs> okay let's not go into the details of why we both picked her we no no i want to know why question, exactly question. can you please tell me why no no we're moving on <laughs> okay okay we're moving on said ekal but you know what's not moving on is the challenge is yeah. five or five <laughs> i love it i love it five or five Auntie is thinking hard but giving the right answers. Bopana likes that. <laughs> <laughs> Amisha is being sarcastic and saying fastest answers ever. <laughs> Most obvious answer ever. That's why. <laughs> oh, okay, okay, okay. All right. Moving into question number six, guys. Close your eyes. Solid start. Now, who is more likely to do more weird things in public? Did you guys get it? I didn't. I don't know what happened there. Did you get it? Yeah, they did. They did. They did. They did. We got it, but I don't know why it took so long. Okay. Okay. Six out of six. Perfect, guys. You guys are on fire, by the way. On fire. Close your eyes and move on to question seven. Who is more likely to worry about small things? Small things. <laughs> Auntie, you can't. Yeah. Auntie, you can't tap him on the shoulder. That was a fluke. Uh, that was a big fluke. No tapping. We're both optimistic people, so I like it. I like my dad like is saying 100% him. But, uh, uh. I love it. Okay, question eight, perfect score for team on a mission so far. Hands together, eyes closed for question number eight. Who is more likely to win the lottery? Open your eyes. Oh, oh. <laughs> missed wicket. We have a lot of luck. <laughs> Apparently, uh, I had to. I had to find one. I had to find one where there was no correct answer. <laughs> oh, no. I thought you always said you had bad luck with games. Obviously. It's okay. We are eight out of nine, right? No, seven. Seven, out, seven out of eight. eight. I'm not even ten. I should not have asked a mathematic question to myself. <laughs> okay. Close your eyes. Question number nine. Who is more likely to forget important birthdays? Oh, Auntie was fast. <laughs> Auntie was fast. Tell us, tell us about the story. I never I like almost never wish people for their birthday. I have a very My mom has like a fancy calendar in her room with like every single friend's birthday, even people she's like met once. And for me like my best friend I'll forget. I'll I'll talk to him like 3 days later he's like oh yeah I saw her on her birthday 3 days ago. I'm like oh man. Yeah that's awkward. <laughs> Sorry bro. Yeah yeah this so was the auntie's biggest answer. It was easy. It was easy to point to you on that. <laughs> Now I'm going to give you guys an option. I'm going to give you an option before the last question. Would you like uncle to be part of the last question or do you guys want to keep the momentum for the last one I'll give you I'll give you an option You you call the shot Momentum momentum <laughs> momentum Okay we go with momentum Close your eyes Oh my god August I wish you Amisha <laughs> Who is more likely to laugh at the wrong moment <laughs> That's you. That's obvious. Really, Andy. Really. 
section I think we'll move on. Okay. Why do we want to? Do we want another score? Do we have a chance <laughs> at the dessert? I can't tell you. I can't players. tell you, but I but I know that I'm very excited for your talent round. So why yeah, don't right. we why don't we go into the talent section? That's right, my suggestion. Let's go to the talent section. Okay, so yeah, let's take over the show, uh, team on a mission. What's happening? I'm going to need your help for this, but basically I'm going to be doing a magic trick. Okay. And oh, nice shades! Ooh. Fancy. <laughs> no, no, I thought you needed my shades for the magic trick. Okay, tell me. <laughs> Actually, yeah, I do need your help. Not the shades, but I need your help. So it's okay. called Game Night with G Magic Trick. I designed it specially for the show, and wow. I have named it, huh? Because at the end, I hope to leave you um, thinking, huh? How do you do that? Okay, so uh, I'll get back to this in a minute. Every magician needs a a glamorous assistant, right? Obviously. For sure. For sure. So Hong. Um, Do you know anybody who could be the glamorous assistant? <laughs> 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 I love you. Love you. Okay, we we'll get back to this in a minute. Okay. Uh, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna do something with the audience, well, with the viewers, everybody. I like it. Uh, we're gonna plan our post-corona vacation right now. Okay. So what's gonna happen? I love it. We're gonna choose a place, destination, all that. I'll get into it. But basically, right now, everybody who's watching, if you can comment a country. Any country in the world, start now. Flood the comments as many as you can. Flood the comments. We want the most popular country for a vacation. Everyone, flood the comments. Any country, shoot, Jivan. I need you to choose one out of all of okay. them. Just choose one. So, guys, okay. guys, flood the comments with a country, and Jivan will pick one. Okay. So, all right. This is your chance, everyone. I'm here. I'm going to give it. Let's say we give it 20 seconds on the timer. And we we'll go to the most uh, famous one. All right. You guys, you guys can all look and let me know what. Uh, we have Mauritius, US. Mauritius, Maldives, Mac with Mac with US. I'm definitely not going to the US for a yeah, vacation. Like that. Yeah, I'm going to say Hawaii. I'll go to Hawaii. I mean, yeah. Sandra and Hawaii. 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 It's Hawaii. <laughs> Hawaii, okay. Ika with Hawaii. Alicia with okay. Italy. Okay, Italy. Okay, let's pick one now. We've had, we have enough comments. All so right. You, you go for it. <laughs> I'm just laughing because one of my friends wrote uh, Adyar. That's the area I live in, Chennai. Okay, oh. I'm I'm gonna go with Spain. I'm gonna go with Spain. Spain. Okay, Spain. You confirm that answer, Spain. You want to change your mind? No, I'll go with Spain. I'll go with Spain. Spain it is. Okay, great. So we're going to Spain for our vacation. Although the cases are rising there, but that doesn't matter. Okay. Now we have to find a person, a companion. Who are we going with? So okay. this can be anybody, guys. Again, flood the comments. I keep using that term. With any person in the world who we'll all know, so ideally a celebrity or an Indian tennis player, since this is Indian Tennis Daily. Who wants to come to Spain, everybody? Who wants to come to Spain? A, uh, an actor. We could go with Brad Pitt, uh, Deepika Padukone, anybody. Roger Federer, Ram Kumar, yeah. Vishal Upa. I'm sure he's watching. Yeah. <laughs> Let's make so this I fun. Pick, right? come on, I pick. Come I pick. Who's going? Do I pick? Yeah, you pick. You pick. As soon as the comments start. Okay. As in. soon as the comments start. Okay, give, give give me give me some comments on who is coming to Spain with me, everyone. Give me some comments. <laughs> okay, let's keep going. Uh, let's give it another ten seconds. Six? I just have a quick sip. Although he won't be going with us, he'll be you know meeting us there. But anyways, <laughs> with G or Ram? Yes, G. You can pick yourself if you want to. You can take yourself to Spain. Okay, I think I, I think I know who I'm vacationing in Spain with. This I've decided. Everybody seems to be picking Rafa, but you're you're the, you choose at the end of it. You're the judge. You are what makes this trick special, so yeah. it's your choice. Yeah, I I want to go with my wife. Can I go with my wife? With Neha, sure. Yeah. Can yeah, you confirm yeah. the answer? Ah, uh, Bas, you'll come to Spain with me, or what? Huh? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, she said okay, but yeah. Wow. <laughs> with Neha. Okay, I'm going Spain. with Neha. I'm going with my wife Neha to party to Spain, everyone. You are going with Neha to Spain. Now we have to figure out when we're going. Which year? It is 2020 now. We have up till 2075, 2080. Right? Yeah, yeah. I would hope so. Yeah, I'd hope so. Hopefully earlier. But guys, any year between 2020 and 2080 in the comments. Choose yeah. your year and which Jeevan and Nikita. I think so. 2080, as long as everybody keeps their mask on in public. Keep your mask, mask on. on. Right. 
So, okay, give me a year from 2021 onwards till 2018. Cause I'm not I, even if you pick 2020, I'm not going anywhere in 2020. I'll tell you that publicly. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever tour is ready, I'm not leaving. <laughs> Alright, Max is, is 2025. Wow, two 2025s. What are the chances? Uh, somewhere. <laughs> you guys can go all the way up to 27. Yeah, guys, I'm not in a hurry to go to Spain. Someone is going back in time to 2019. <laughs> Alright. Let's pick one. Okay, I'm picking twenty thirty. I like that. I'm going in twenty thirty. Twenty thirty. I'm going ten years from now to Spain. Twenty thirty it is. Okay, so we are going to Spain with Neha in twenty thirty. Now, just to be clear, the people who chose, like the the guys whose names who you chose, I haven't set anything up with them, and I haven't set anything. You before the show. I just told you I'm going to do it. I doubt it. I doubt it. There's no way. There's no way. I didn't tell you what the trick was going to be. What you have to pick. I didn't tell anybody in the comments. No. It, no way. Right. Okay. There's so. No there's no way. Right. You have no idea. I I, I don't even know what you're going to say next. <laughs> Perfect. Glamorous assistant. May I? So I want to give you the backstory. For yeah. for I want to put a little bit of a cool magician vibe right now. So last night I had a dream. Little suspense. Forgive me for the being so dramatic. But last night I had a dream that when I'm on game night with G, I'm gonna pull a magic trick called "huh," okay, which is gonna leave the audience hopefully "huh" at the end. And okay. the dream was that I was going, or that Jeevan was going on a vacation to a certain country in a certain year with a certain somebody. And in the, at midnight, it suddenly hit me that oh my god, he's gonna go with this person to this country in this year. And I'm like, no I way. There's no way you rode Spain. And, and it's gonna kind of be my prediction on game night with G. I don't know if you can see because it's backwards, probably with the screen. That's But fine. I'm, that's fine. I can see. I'm gonna rip it here. I don't want to break the contents of it. Okay. <laughs> I enveloped it and sealed it properly so that you know. It's I sealed in an envelope. Wow. So you see here and here we have a paper, right? Yeah. Yeah. I see a little paper in there. I don't know what's in there. <laughs> Alicia with deja vu. Okay. So There's it's no, here. The arrows point. There's no way down. you wrote that. Let's see. There's no way. I don't know. I, it was in a dream, so I was kind of in, in my subconscious writing this onto a piece of paper. So it will be backwards, but hopefully you can understand. It says my post-COVID vacation. That's your. Yes, I, I read that. My post-COVID vacation. Yes. Okay. Moment of truth. What do you guys think? You think I got it right? I don't know. I'm about to find okay. out too. Here we go. We are going to Spain. What? Spain with Neha in 2030. I am connecting. Look at that, guys. Subconscious do come true. Yeah, dreams do come true. Look at that. I mean, dude, how did you do that, man? <laughs> wow. I, what? I'm. I'm. Uh, wow. Okay. What? People want to see that again. You got to show that again. That you have Spain, <laughs> you have Neha, and you have 2030. That's unreal. Spain, Neha, 2030. <laughs> That's freaky, man. That's freaky. Mic drop. <laughs> Thank you guys. Wow. I will take my five inside a sealed and... envelope so there's no way anybody wrote it. I saw that inside a sealed envelope. It's unreal. Yes, sealed envelope. <laughs> I can pick it up on the thing for you. Give me my G. Oh. Oh. Hey man. We I all mean, need a little bit of I magic mean, in life right now. Man, I'm going in 2030. Anybody who wants to join Neha and me to Spain in 2030, feel free because I have a feeling that the way Adil is performing magic tricks Uh, we probably get upgraded to business class. <laughs> <laughs> I got you. So you got me for sure, man. Wow, that has, has to be saved. That was has to be saved on camera. That was unreal. <laughs> That's unreal. Oh wow. That was uh, Adil. Is, do we have another talent? Because we I have, believe that uh, there's something else that's coming along. Is that right? So, I'm audience, what did you think of Adil's magic trick? By the way, first of all, hi, Adil. Welcome back to the show. <laughs> <laughs> My wonderful father has created a poem that uh, oh, is dedicated God. to Game Nights with G. So, well, I'll let him take it away. Wow. So, wow. um, Uncle, take it away. Keeping in the lines of uh, William Shakespeare, this yes. is called an ode to Game Nights, and it's okay. dedicated to Wow. G. His sparkling lights brighten up the night. From Pondicherry, he makes us merry. <laughs> The man's quick wit is truly a hit. <laughs> He made some noise for Daisy boys. Yeah. Put on his jacket for psycho racket. 
<laughs> he was ever ready for Team Slim Shady. Teams shook their legs with Patiala pegs. <laughs> <laughs> the lovely Neha and Swapna made us feel Apna. Thanks to G's game night, lockdown blues we could fight. It's been a pleasure. You are a treasure. Here's a shout out to G1. And let's hope we won! <laughs> Wow, man. And, and Uncle, by the way, just so that everyone watching knows, we did not plan to wear matching t-shirts which we're going to party in our Spain with. This wasn't pre-planned. This is what we all decided to wear. This is the vibe. It's a vibe, right? Absolutely. The, vibe. the Hawaii vibe. <laughs> Audience, you saw a magic trick which got me bold. You saw a fantastic poem. Uh, can I please have everyone... Uh, Rate them out of 50, up to 50. I love you. I'm waiting. I know what I'm giving. I know what I'm giving the talent. I would like to hear everyone's thoughts. I love you for the poem. Maybe we'll get maybe we'll get extra points for fooling you a second time. I think I don't think anybody has been closer to. Uh... Oh my God! <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, what? <laughs> if that doesn't give us 500 points, I don't know what does. Come on, guys, come on. Oh, where's my pen? Do I have a pen? Okay, so I'm just tallying it up. I'm tallying it up for Team on a Mission. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell was going on? I love that. <laughs> <clears throat> okay, I have, I have reviewed everything with uh, my scorekeeper and timekeeper. You guys are at, have not made the 800 club, unfortunately. Ooh. Unfortunately, it was not 800 club. <laughs> you guys finished the game with 50 out of 50 on the talent section and 890 and I'm giving a bonus 10 because I enjoyed this talent the most actually. It was so fun to be a part of. Wow. Extra thing. Oh, Welcome man. to the 900 job. You take it. You take it. <laughs> this is this is my handwriting to officially seal it. Seal it at 8:40 after the games. Yeah, 8:40 after the games. 50 for the talent made you 890, and uh, 10 points was the first official bonus in a talent segment that's been given on game night. <laughs> I didn't, I didn't want you guys to be stuck at 890. This was not an 890 type night. It definitely was a 900 club type of night. So well done team on a mission. Another team in the 900 club. Sugar monkeys, Amisha Singh. Sugar monkeys can save money this weekend. <laughs> so sugar monkeys will find a way. We will connect after the show. Any dessert that you want. We have over, what, 90 people who were with us over here who have seen it and decided that you guys deserve any dessert possible from Sugar Monkeys. We'll keep it coming with special tricks for the last three episodes to go of Game Night with G to finish the season. This is where I remind you guys for maybe just the last couple of times. Uh, it's Saturday. And, uh, sorry, it's, uh, what are we at? Wednesday? Wednesday. Oh, yeah, we are Wednesday. So we are on Wednesday. Yeah, I'm not sure what day it is, to be honest. But find a way to comment, be a part of the game nights. These guys did it and they had a fantastic night, I hope. I had an awesome time with the Kalyanpur family. Team on a mission and Team Psycho Rackets are both in the 900 club after today's episode. Well done, guys. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, all the cards out. Oh, still not out. <laughs> I keep puking our cards, guys. I don't know what's happening. Auntie, he's definitely likely to do more weird things in public. It's definitely Adil. It's definitely him. <laughs> yeah. Oh, God, I love it. Thanks for having us. Fun. Thanks for being on the show, guys. I hope everyone had fun watching. We'll see you Saturday night. It's still a little bit of a mystery who's on this Saturday. But we have a fantastic finish planned the next Saturday after this. All right? So uh, keep it coming, keep enjoying your time here and stay safe, obviously through the lockdown, everybody. 
and uh, see you in a few nights on game night with G. Thank you very much to team on a mission for a fantastic episode. Bye Thanks. guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. All right, well, there you have it, everyone. I hope you had a lot of fun. This is me signing off after episode number 10. 10 episodes done, just a few more to go. And uh, let's see if we are going to continue with Game Nights with G or not. Amisha with Happy Weekend, everyone. Yes, see you all back on uh, Saturday night, 9 p.m., episode 11. Uh, also, just on the top of my head, if you guys have any suggestions for a different type of intro for Game Night with G, feel free to inbox me on JN Tennis. Let me know what kind of intro you'd like to see for the last few episodes. And we might just uh, cater to that. All right. Bye, everyone, for joining us. And uh, see you later. See you very soon.